on Roblox. A happy day, happy relaxing day. Just sitting here, looking at my profile, and uh, and everything just everything just seems to be pretty great. I got all my friends. Everything is safe. And what was that? What was that? What's going on? Oh my goodness! No, no! Ah! Ah! What? What? John Doe. Oh my goodness. Wait, it's not even March 18th yet. I thought John Doe was supposed to hack everyone on March 18th. Hello, my name is John Doe. John Doe? What are you doing here? I'm here to hack you. Here? <laughs> me? Why would you want to hack me? Because I like to hack people. <laughs> but I don't want to be hacked. Too bad. I'm going to hack you. you. Aren't you supposed to hack people on March 18th? Yes, but I want to hack you now. <laughs> Okay, well, before we truly get into this whole John Doe hacking thing, we need to understand what John Doe is. So, many people have been messaging me, and uh, on my live stream, they've been telling me, a bunch of people have been just letting me know, do not play Roblox on March 18th, you will be hacked. You will be hacked. It's dangerous, don't do it. Okay, that's a bit of a strange request. Normally people don't unanimously agree that they're going to be hacked on a certain day. So what is going on? So I, I was, you know, talking to people. People told me it was because of John Doe. And apparently John Doe was going to hack everyone. So I looked it up. And I decided to read into it, read about it a little bit. So this is John Doe. This is his Roblox account. Uh, so he has nine friends, 24,000 followers. Uh, and you know what? I have more followers than him, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Um, and four, he's following 408 people. His description says, I'm John Doe and I'm anonymous. And then he's got these friends. These are his collection things. His Roblox badges. Alright. Join date. 2nd of the 27th, 2006. Now, when... When was Roblox created? Roblox was created in 2006. When specifically? Let's go to the Wikipedia page. It was created, where does it have, does it have the date in 2006 that it started? Or does it just say, it just says in early 2006. So we know it's in early 2006. And he joined 27th February 2006. So he joined early 2006. Now, that is because John Doe was one of the first Roblox accounts created now, not only that, but if we go Jane Doe Roblox, we get this profile. And Jane Doe looks exactly the same, right? Exactly the same. Hers just says, I'm Jane Doe, three friends, but she's got the same thing, all of these, all the Roblox badges. She joined the same day. So, what does this mean? Is this zero place visit, zero forum posts. How does any of this work? How is there a John Doe and a Jane Doe? Who are they and why are they gonna hack everyone? Let's explore into this a bit. So Jane Doe and John Doe, the mystery says, let's let's look into, I was looking it up, okay? If we go onto this, this history of Roblox and we go into 2006, there is a, it specifically mentions John Doe and Jane Doe around here somewhere and I'm really bad at looking, there it is, okay. In 2005, Roblox's very early alpha testing ends and beta begins. Between February to June, blah blah blah, John Doe and Jane Doe were created as users. There we go, both Doe's were the first official users. So, that's what we know so far. We know that they were official users. All right, if we, uh, there's, there's a rumor that they're going to hack us. Yep, we know that. Here is a screenshot that someone sent at one point. This is a spooky mystery. Someone was in the game, and John Doe and Jane Doe said hello in this area. Isn't that spooky? That you can see John Doe and Jane Doe talking in this chat? Isn't that very, very scary? Well, not really, because in this particular circumstance, you can, you'll notice both of their names are white, 
And both of them don't have colons, which is the two dots, but before the, what their word is. So what actually happened here was Norman, the guy above him, Norman157, typed uh, U8, and then clicked space, 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 until it went to the next line. And when it went to the next line, he wrote John Doe, hello. And then he went space, 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 and went wrote Jane Doe, hello, or hi. So then people were like, oh my goodness, oh, oh, John Doe, Jane Doe, and stuff. But really it's just Norman trying to trick everyone. So that's, that's what that means. Now, there are, there's, there's pages on it, there's uh, all these people talking about it. So this was a thread that was made at some point uh, in the Roblox forums where someone was talking about the mystery of John Doe and Jane Doe. They told this story. Basically, the story was that when the admins first created Roblox, they're sitting around uh, and they were waiting for people to play. And when people would play, they would jump on and, and want to play with them. And so John Doe at one point logged in and the admins jumped in and played with him for a bit, and then he logged off. So Jane Doe jumped on, she played for a bit, she said she wanted to play with John Doe, and then she logged off. Then later, they wanted to see if they would log back on again, and other Roblox YouTubers, YouTubers, other Roblox players had joined by then, but they didn't join again. And then apparently Jane Doe said that John Doe had suffered some sort of head trauma, and so they wouldn't be playing again because of obvious reasons. So, is that true? That's the big mystery. Are John Doe and Jane Doe these spooky figures that, uh, that have been hacking Roblox accounts? Well, I'm gonna say no, and here's why. John Doe and Jane Doe, some of the first accounts created, they're blank slates. Let's solve the mystery of why are they not logged in? Well, they haven't logged in for a long time. I, I don't know if, if it says here how long it's been since they logged in. They haven't logged in for a long time because John Doe and Jane Doe were created as test accounts. That is why they look very plain. That is why they look very normal because they are they were accounts to test if the game worked, which means they were created by the people who made Roblox. So, why has this become like a ghost story type thing? Well, pretty a lot of games these days or a lot of especially a lot of like games for younger audiences tend to have some sort of spooky aspect to it. Like look at Minecraft for example. Minecraft has Hero Brian. Hero Brian is is like the Steve model but it doesn't have any eyes uh, or has wh only white eyes. It's scary and it's a ghost that's that's haunting Minecraft, but really it it, it never really was a thing. It was just kind of like a joke that just kept going. John Doe and Jane Doe have had their accounts hacked here and there. So that has made people think that they have logged on but not, not actually logged on. And so the hacking that happened has caused people to be more scared because it's like it says they haven't logged on since 2006 but they did this thing on in 2011 and stuff like that. People have hacked into their accounts since. Because they're a well-known account, people have continuously tried to hack into it and eventually some people have gotten through and actually hacked into it. So that's pretty much why that happened. That is also why people are associating it with a hack. I have no idea how the March 18th uh, date came into it, but the March 18th date has been spread around so much and many people are really scared to play on March 18th. I will be playing Roblox on March 18th. If you choose not to play Roblox on March 18th, that's your own decision. You're allowed to do that. If you're just too scared to actually like to play it, you want it to be, it's better to be safe than sorry, that's fine. I am going to play Roblox on March 18th. I don't think you guys need to worry about me because basically you just need to make sure the way that you want to not get hacked is make sure that your password is strong. Do not have an easy to guess password. If your password is like password or password123 or pass123 or your name123 uh, or some, or like your name and your birth date or something like that, it's gonna be easier to guess and it's gonna be easier for people to hack you. If you want a strong password, you want a password that you can remember but other people would not be able to guess. I'm bad with this, sometimes I don't do this, sometimes I'm bad with this, 
but the best kind of password is something with a mix of capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, maybe even symbols if you put like a hashtag in it or, or a dollar sign or something like that. Mixing in symbols and capital letters and numbers, they all really work so just make sure you know your password and make sure no one else knows your password except maybe your parents. Why are they called John Doe and Jane Doe? Well, some of you maybe may actually know this just from general knowledge. I knew this from general knowledge um, and also like movie knowledge and stuff. Some characters in movies are called John Doe. Basically, John Doe, if you go to the Wikipedia page of it, John Doe basically means an anonymous person, a person who you don't know who they are. It's normally used in courts, in law, in, in, in like court cases when people are suing someone, or not suing someone else, but normally when there's like some sort of awful thing that's happened. Uh, they will refer to anonymous people sometimes as John Doe for a man and Jane Doe for a woman. That is, uh, that is where the name John Doe and Jane Doe comes from. If you go to this page, it will say that John Doe was a test account by founder David Bez... 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 Zuki... Bazuki? And co-founder Eric Castle on, uh, on 2005. So, the name John Doe refers to an anonymous male. There you go. Um, it was an account used by the administrators to accompany users playing Roblox. So remember that story that I told you about the, the uh, them like being excited that John Doe had come to play and so they came and played with him? It was only a little bit true. The, the part that was true was that r the Roblox creators were excited about people coming to play so they would come and play with them. But the difference is they didn't come to play with John Doe and Jane Doe. They logged on as John Doe and Jane Doe. Those were their test accounts. So they had one test account as a male account and one test account as a female account. That is why they were created. And so any sort of things that happened afterwards are likely due to someone hacking the account or someone luckily locking into an the account or sometimes just glitches. There is a point, there was a point where people, there you go, there was a glitch in 2015 where you can friend any users, even banned us users. So you could friend whoever you wanted if you did this certain glitch. Some people use that glitch to friend John Doe. That is why he has friends on the account. And that's the same with Jane Doe. There are people who have friended Jane since a certain glitch, for a, with, with a certain friend glitch. That is why that happened. And there's, there's many more things you can read about this account, but for the most part, what I've just got to say to you guys is just be careful with what you, what you spread around, because there is going to be a lot of times where there's going to be a story that everyone's spreading around saying this certain thing is going to happen and you need to make sure you know all the facts about it. This one luckily is relatively harmless. All it's saying is don't play a game on a certain date. Some stories that go around will say like make sure to enter your password into this place or make sure to copy and paste this bit of text everywhere. And if you do that, that may be dangerous. So you need to make sure you know all of the facts about something and just read up about it as much as you can with an open mind before spreading it around. Because if you keep spreading that sort of stuff around, there's going to be some sort of danger there. Basically, John Doe and Jane Doe are test accounts. I, I've tried to make that very clear that that's what they were originally. I, on March 16th, that's the date, or March 18th? I don't know, whatever date it is, it's not even going to be in my mind. I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to play the game. I'm going to make sure my password is safe. Also, I think there's two-step verification available, which basically means if someone tries to log in, someone random tries to log into your account, you, they will have to text a mobile phone or something. If you want to either, if you have a mobile phone or if you want to talk to your parents about setting up two-step verification, it basically makes it so it is a much, much, much harder to hack you. Incredibly harder. Because then they also need your phone. So having your, having someone, the odds of having someone having your password and your phone is a lot less likely than someone just having your password. So, that is my summary of the situation. I wasn't, I wasn't hacked by John Doe and I won't be getting hacked by John Doe. I just, uh, I, I wanted to spread my ideas about the situation, my thoughts on the situation. So if you have been telling people not to log on on March 18th because someone's gonna hack you, I would say I don't agree with that. I would say that you can play Roblox whenever you want uh, and you don't have to worry about being hacked but you do need to make sure you stay safe 
Make sure that you keep your password safe. Make sure you don't tell random people your password. If someone sends you a link and the link is not to Roblox, not exactly to the Roblox website and you have to enter your Roblox password, don't do it. If someone sends you a thing to say you get free Robux by going to this link, don't do it because you are not going to get free Robo Robux, I can guarantee you that. Odds are they will try to steal your account and so just don't trust anything like that. Remember Robux co costs money for a reason, there's no reason that they'd give away Robux unless unless they were doing it directly through their site. They wouldn't use a different site to do it. So that's about it. That's about all I have to say. Sorry this was a bit more of a serious video, but I do some of these every once in a while. I did I did that video called The Real Problem, Problem with Roblox, um, which is the same sort of video. And the reason I did that is uh, is because I wanted, I, I want to make sure that you guys are informed about things that are going on in Roblox as much as you can be. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter, bam, and add me on Snapchat, bam. Also make sure to go to my merch store. My merch store link is in the description below. You can get yourself your own Gent Plays merchandise stuff, including uh, my shirt and a notebook and a clock and an acrylic block and clothes and a bunch of other stuff. So go there and get it. And I'll also keep an eye out for my live streams. Odds are, if you're watching this video when it comes out, I may be live streaming when you're watching it. So yeah, just check, just go check out my live Live streams. And I love you guys so much. Have a fantastic day. You're all the best. Uh, I love you all. Bye bye. Mwah.